YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm Winnie the makeup artist, an actual makeup artist. So, if you ever need any makeup done for your wedding, whether you're the bride or you're attending as a guest, or you're just going for a party, or you just need to look fabulous, you know, I'll hook you up. My email is down below. So, today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, and it does not involve any brushes whatsoever. So it's going to be quite interesting because I I've never really done this before like ever. So yeah, keep watching to see how it turns out. Well, it turned out okay. So like because this is how it was. So yeah. I started by using this concealer from Elega. I can't remember the shade exactly. As you can see, I am blessed with melanin on my eyelids. So I'm using the concealer to conceal the darkness so that the color shows through better. Not that it's bad to have melanin on your eyelids. I just want the color to really pop. So I'm setting the concealer using this Revlon powder. This is actually a trick that makeup artists used to use before there were eye primers. Concealer and powder makes the eyeshadow last long. I'm taking this silvery shadow from L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and I'm using it as the main color on my eyelids then using my fingers to blend the main color doing the same on the other eye and blending it out with my fingers again I then took this eye pencil um, obviously eye pencil was the only option because gel eyeliner and liquid require brushes I'm using this um, liner to create a thick line and a tiny wing obviously eyeliner is very daunting to use no pressure at all we need no pressure at all yeah except the pressure of getting it wrong and starting all over again or over correcting and then you end up looking like a raccoon. Thumbs up the video if you're enjoying it, by the way. <laughs> and comment below if you want me to do a video on how to do a cut eye. It looks easy, but it took me some time to learn this. I took this uh, dark brown color, it's a matte shadow from Suzy Beauty. I'm using it as a crease color, blending out with my fingers again. This using your fingers thing actually looks good. Because I never not do makeup without my brushes. I should do this more often. And then I took this mascara from Maybelline. It's called the Falsies. Oh, it's a great mascara just to pump up my non-existent lashes you guys this thing is magic using a wet wipe to clean out the eyeshadow that had fallen on my cheeks and then I use the same wet wipes to wipe my hands to remove any color from my fingers because you know now we're uh, moving from color from the eyes to the face and we don't want to get eyeshadow all over the face because we're using our fingers not different brushes uh, so I took the concealer from illegal to uh, camouflage the dark circles under my eyes and also to highlight my forehead I always do this this is like in every one of my videos highlighting the forehead and blending and here I realize that brushes are very important because I don't really like using your fingers to blend you have to be very careful um, because you have to make sure you blend it very well so you have to make sure you blend into your hairline into the jaw because that's an area that many people forget and I used I was feeling like the foundation will make my fingers so I was feeling a bit weird at first because 
oh i really don't like using my hands to apply the foundation and things on the face cuz of the all the like icky stickiness but it's actually good cuz um sometimes if you're applying foundation on yourself it's good because um the body temperature kind of melts the foundation and so it goes on to the skin easier and spreads easier so it's a good thing just make sure you really blend just using this Revlon foundation uh, on the areas where I didn't use my concealer I I am using it on the perimeters of my face <laughs> struggling not to ruin my brows yeah and the back of my hand looks like I've been to war <laughs> And then I'm taking this um, Revlon powder to set the concealer on my under eye, on my chin, and on my forehead. And very vigorously on my nose. I took this MAC blush and popped it on my cheek using my fingers and spread it all over the cheekbones the apple of my cheeks rather I took this lipstick from Revlon it's called Plumalicious it has a nice pearly finish so it's kinda shiny but in a nice way then I took this brown uh, liner from Sleek it's actually a brow pencil but I'm using it on the lips Then I blended them all together and voila, this is the finished look. It turned out okay, I should do this more often. You should totally check out my website, winniethemakeupartist.com. I usually blog once a week or twice a week and I usually blog about tips and tricks and beauty news and things that I don't usually blog about or things that I usually don't make videos about so you can find more stuff there and you can find my portfolio i.e my work so yeah and i guess that's it